Taking lessons from Tune Bucket is easy. We know you're busy. We know you don't have a lot of time. We understand it's not easy coordinating your hectic schedule. We also know that your private music instructor doesn't teach lessons at 10.30 p.m. So we've made something especially for you. We've recorded video lessons that are available online any time of the day. Hooray! You don't even have to fill up your gas tank. Don't have time to finish the lesson? No problem. It will be there for you to pick up the next chance you get. On your computer, tablet, or mobile phone, you can find a list of available lessons by clicking the lessons link up above. Stay tuned! Welcome to another Piano Fundamentals lesson where we're taking you from not playing at all to playing in church. Hey, this is Melody from Tune Bucket. I'm here with your Tuning Tuesday practice tip. Why is practice sometimes so overwhelming? It's because we look at the whole picture instead of breaking it down into bite-sized chunks. If you want to practice a song or learn a song, set a goal of learning it line by line. If you're learning one new song a week, let the goal of your first day to be to learn the first line. The goal of your second day to learn the second line. It seems like if we don't set those goals, we're starting over and over and over at the beginning and we're accomplishing possibly the beginning of the song, but when we get to the end of the song, it's a little scratchy. So try that. Just create a goal per day, a very simple, very reachable goal of learning a song line by line. Something I've done to help you is I've created a goal sheet that you can download at the bottom of this email. Don't let your practice overwhelm you. Remember, if it seems too much, break it down into bite-sized chunks. That's your tip for this week, and I'll see you next week on Tuning Tuesday.
about to tell you something I think your music teacher is probably not going to want you to know. You don't have to read sheet music to play. Yeah, that's right. When you learn to play by ear, it gives you the freedom to play anything you want to. And you learn to follow music and you learn to hear chord progressions. And in my never to be humble opinion, it really is the best way to play. So set your fears aside. Don't worry about having to read the stuff that looks kind of like Chinese and start learning music, playing by ear. So if you're nervous about learning to read sheet music, let that no longer be your fear. Nothing is stopping you from learning to play. And if you want to learn to play by ear, check out the lessons we have available on our website. Have a great week. at all to being able to play in your local church. What we're going to play is on the one and two and three and four and E flat, F, G, A flat. Let's also do the low F. So we've got F, G, A, open string, B flat, one, two, three, four, we're going to throw in an additional and in between each of those numbers. One and two and three and four and. This right here is B flat. So we can play it the same way as before. One. To four. Bounce to the one. Five. One. And again. And I walk up. This is Melody from Tune Beckett. Here's a tip for you. If you're struggling with the rhythm, take away all of the fancy chords and runs that you're trying to play on whatever instrument it is and just play basic. You're also going to want to practice with a steady rhythm, always, always. Here's what I tell my private piano students. If you are having trouble learning a song or learning a run or part of a song, take the entire song, slow it down as slow as you need to get it. It doesn't matter how slow it is, as long as you're playing the song in a steady rhythm. Then, as you get better and better, you can speed up the song to the regular pace. If you are having rhythm troubles, I would recommend you checking out our Piano Fundamentals 1 course and our Basics 1 course. What this is going to do is allow you to simply focus on playing. There are MP3 background tracks where you can play along with a full band. So it won't be like you're practicing by yourself, which can be a little bit boring. To practice with a steady rhythm, download a metronome app for your smartphone or your tablet or you could actually go to a music website or a music store and purchase a metronome. What this is going to do is help you to develop a steady rhythm. Steady rhythm is not only important when you're playing fast songs, but it's also very important when you're playing slow songs. Rhythm is the foundation and the key to being a great musician. 
because we don't want to just be good musicians. We want to strive for excellence. And this is the key. It's not the fancy chords that you play. It's not how many runs that you know. It simply is rhythm. I would encourage you today to start developing that rhythm. Even if it's five or 10 minute bits every day, start today. I hope this helps.